YouTubers, and thank you for tuning into the Dice of Luck Tour Review. Today is, of course, another hot September's day. That's why I've got a towel fan next to me, which has actually been kindly been given to my, well, to me though, for my dad. And luckily enough, I've got two bottles of icy cold spring bottles of water, eh? But in this video, of course, yes, it's another tour review. Mmm. And once again, it's going to be in the theme of, you know, something very tropical because it's a very hot day and I shouldn't be doing two reviews at this part of the day because you know well it's possibly the hottest day of the year so far beating the actual two previous summer months August and July or July and August which were unfortunately abysmally wet and did not set any temperature records like last year did and in fact it was a startling a starking contrast to what we had from like last year where we reached 40.3 degrees Celsius in Lincolnshire, Coningsby, Lincolnshire. That was the hottest temperature ever recorded in the UK. And it's also the year as I'm making this video. It's also about a year just after the Queen has passed away. Our former late Queen has sadly passed away, but she will be fondly remembered as always as per usual. And yeah, since it's a really hot day, well, it's so nice to have a bit of a taste of summer, but hey, don't expect it to last that long because you know why? Things are starting to change as we move on from an actual heat wave that summer 2023 has failed to do so, apart from June. June was the jewel of the crown of all months. Well, guess what? September might show its false colours and not true colours. Or should, should I just say the true colours of summer? Oh man, it's so hot in no, summer, eh? But hopefully, I should go outside for the lakes because you know I need to catch some water, you know, go to a nearby lake and catch some fresh air and bask underneath a tree mmm that's like the closest thing of going to like a a tropical beach somewhere far far away Malaysia or Thailand or Vietnam or any other place in general Bali and in Indonesia I guess but I need a jump cat here because it is just chronically hot and it's going to be very difficult for the webcam to work oh yeah there's a wondrous looking cheap Tower fan that we've got here, it's probably the equivalent to that air conditioning involved. So it's been muffled up by the wind and all. And we've got our Sony Disney 5 uh, training pattern by. I think it's up there, stupid camera. Though. Sorry, I didn't show you it clearly. Here it is. Here it is going by. And hopefully, it will be a great area for me to do some stunning toy views. And hopefully, when this video is completely and utterly fully edited along the way, well, guess what? It's going to be quite miraculous. By well, now, everything is going to be assembled. And I'm sure it will be. But I've got to get away from the hot zone because it's going to pretty much burn my freaking skin. Oh man. Who knows about filming on the hottest day of the year? Some just going up to 33 to 34 degrees Celsius. Maybe we should start to make a video on why it's been so hot recently of like this September and why July and August have, have, been, have been really, really bad and so wet cold and bad and wet and windy as well at the same time it's a stark in contrast I'm trying to be very careful what words I need to put up in order to make things sense but anyways I might jump back here ok I've just moved away from the very blistering heat of the summer sun unusual for September isn't it? it's obviously the hottest September in many years and centuries ago and here we go, here comes the drop test of all the pop-up toys. In fact, we've got three, three, two, one, and boom! There we go, so... Oops, sorry, I've just knocked over my stationary box. But anyways, let's do it. Let's do this, baby. <laughs> Before I get totally scorched from the searing hot September sun. I feel like I'm in Australia at the moment, though. Maybe Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia. I need to probably... um. Uh, get my towel fan just to um, be next to me so I can cool myself off as I'm making this video. Hopefully the video web camera doesn't seem to be affected by the wind at all, nor the heat. But uh, the first up, these two here, we're going to be taking a look at these. Penguin Cobble, Chef Origami Toys. And both of them have got like a tropical themed uh, set though, eh? We've got two of them. We've got like a... Um, a tropical jungle greenhouse fish pond 12 pack which costs about £11.95 pretty unusual for a price eh? and what's even more strange is look at the logo that's not the right logo 
Dun dun dun! That's actually meant to be the logo for, you know, this star here is actually meant for the Malaysia 2023 items, which I might take a look at. I've actually made one, okay? One item from that single event, okay? Don't get me wrong. This is not a Malaysia 2023 product. Don't get fooled or don't be fooled. This is a Penguin Cup World Toy Range uh, product. Okay, so that's what we have. And you know what's actually missing? Uh oh, someone's forgotten to write out. Various components are mixed and matchable. So, I'm about to grab out a pen. Hopefully, it won't dry up in the blistering hot sunshine. Yep. All head pieces, all head pieces are mix and matchable. Sorry, I can't do this accurately because I'm just totally a dud of just doing, you know, artwork very, very nicely though. There you go, there's a penguin swelteringly hot though, just sweating outside, panting outside because it's pretty hot outside, just like today. And there's that penguin wearing a sunglasses, a pair of sunglasses, how cool is that one, eh? And um, we'll just see what it looks like. And you know, this is set to be based on botanical gardens, isn't it? Because you know, in the botanical gardens you've got like glass and it actually gets extremely hot in summer because you know, the glass seems to, you know, act as like some sort of natural, some sort of, you know, some sort of man-made radiator without electrical power and stuff. Here we go, that's what we have. Okay, we've got like a, um, what's that? It's a pair of, it's a jungle fern. We've also got the, a jungle flower. Yeah, there you go, it's a jungle flora type plant. Looks very, very nice. Looks like the sun, doesn't it? It looks quite very fantastic. It actually kind of reminds me of... What was that Pokemon again? Is that Vile Plume? You know, because I actually think of the flowers. You know, the, the big, 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 smelly, horrendous, stenchy looking flowers. You know the Rafflesia Arnaldi and the uh, Rafflesia Kerry? Uh, type flowers that you find in Southeast Asia and you know these flowers can smell like rotting meat but they are quite beautiful and majestic in various ways here are of course the fish say no more they just look very much the same wonder if yeah I think we've got grey fish as well too but they're not as common as these yellow fishies here and I've got like purple ink because I was doing arts and crafts last night because it's been such a muggy, tropical night. In fact, we had temperatures going down to at least 17 in Birmingham, which is very muggy, but not as muggy as what we had before, like 20 degrees or 23 degrees Celsius as in Malaysia. Malaysia gets even more muggier temperatures than, there, than here. And we've got like a pair of sunglasses, like so. Oh yes, there's a blue one and a green one. How nice is that, hey? And we've also got like a, um, a handheld fan, which looks like it's got like a fake on blade that doesn't spin freaking useless and we've also got some penguins so we've got like a pink penguin no wait is it, is it like a peach colored penguin that's a very nice color it's very unusual to have that type of color because it looks similar to this penguin here which is an orange penguin but nevertheless hey, it's very 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 nice and then we've also got like a blue penguin and I'm pretty sure the orange and the pink or the peach one is pretty much you know very Feministic, whereas this blue one is masculine. Hey, that's totally fantastic to know. And you know what? You could potentially mix and match, you know, what these penguins are like. That's actually very, very nice. Maybe this guy's like a, a saffinated. Howdy, fellas! Welcome to my tropical botanical garden. Uh, that's kind of weird. Anyways, that's kind of a bit weird of doing like very weird accents from different regions across the United States. And most importantly, we've got to show these. Uh, mix and matching bits and bobs, whatever they're called, you know, bits of video that we need to show for viewers because the video people will just, will just get cranky and say, Oh, but I'm here to show us all! Anyways, I'm just filling those in, and I know it's a very hot day, as obvious as it sounds. You know, we have that very big ridge of high pressure, though, that's been situated over the eastern parts of Europe, I think. I um, don't think it could be the same heat dome that we had from like, you know, in June, July, where it actually, in August, which first impacted the rest of Southern Europe. In fact, there's been some very bad wildfires and bushfires around in 
in Portugal and other parts of Europe like Greece, Turkey and also like, you know, Italy of course and France and also parts of Spain as well. They had some very ferocious and very bad fires earlier on though, eh? Don't go there. That's a bit of a, a nice advisor to you, eh? Anyways, without talking about climate change too much, maybe I should because, you know, it is hot outside here, eh? And, um, yeah, I'm just going to basically repack all these penguins away and let's move on to our next product. And the next product is, of course, the basic Team Boy Island Beach 12-pack, which costs about £12.99. And uh, I can just see it right next to me as I'm doing it nicely and gently, of course, with no particular orders and with professional type thingy bobs. Here we go. Here it is. That's this product I was talking about. Okay, I can see a curious looking penguin that looks like his flipper has been turned white. Maybe it's because he's been exposed to the sunshine. Maybe he's not. Uh, there's a fish here on the top. And then at the back here, that penguin looks like Yoshi. Am I seeing that coconut drinking penguin? That looks like Yoshi. Please correct me if I'm wrong here. And then you've also got like a blue penguin here with what looks like, it looks like a scythe or a knife or an axe. But in reality, I think it's carrying like a palm leaf, maybe to suit the tropical Hawaiian theme. There's a sunglasses, pair of sunglasses here. Another penguin going fishing, there's a crab here. Hey, that's very, very nice to suit the beach slash tropical island theme. Uh, because it's really hot outside. Hey, here we go, out they come. There's no surfboards here, I would love to add surfboards in future for fat products. Here we go. Okay, so we've got like a palm leaf, just to cool yourself off in the fucking hot sun. Then you've also got this very weird coconut, which looks pretty much deemed useless because it's an accessory of some sort. And we've also got some fish. I mean, how in the hell have we seen so many of them? In fact, we've seen so many of these guys all the time. It's just crazy. And I mean, not all penguins have got different accessories though. Yeah, not all penguins have sunglasses, so we've got like two different green penguins as a not so limey green penguin and then we've also got like a darkish green penguin I mean they look fairly fantastic in the way they've been detailed super cute and very nice and colourful in various ways it doesn't have to be like you know how would you say it um, black or brown or just blue in colour it can be any colour maybe yellow is a good colour for a penguin orange is a nice one hey that's very very nice and then we've also got a blue one here Okay, looks like many of the components are particularly much the same. And there's the crab here. And for some reason, isn't that, well, 100% red, in a sense though, right? It's not too bad, I mean, it doesn't really that look too accurate, but hey, nevertheless, that looks pretty much cool and super dandy, doesn't it, eh? For a bit of a tropical on the theme set. And hey, why wouldn't I be bothered against the hot sunshine as I'm doing this video? And I think we should move along to our next but last but by no means least with that product. Which is no without origami product at all. It's a jigsaw puzzle. And it's from the Malaysia 2023 event. As always, as per usual, again and again. But maybe it could probably expand into other popular franchises. Maybe the Penguin Cup World Toy Range should get its own jigsaw puzzle in the future. Hopefully sometime. If I'm pretty much lucky, I'll say. Okay, and here it is. It's the Monkey Round 48 Pieces Jigsaw Puzzle, which costs about £8. And there's Courtney Courtney with a bit of a very goofy smile. And there's a monkey on the top right corner of this packaging. And there is the back right over here. And it looks like we've got a cranky Oily the Oil and some of the Shaman who, for some reason, his belly looks like he's coloured in the wrong colour. But hey, I digress. And then we've got some weird evil monkey who looks like he's laughing at him and that's why Oily the Oil looks so ticked off without saying the P word. Without any swearing, let's just go ahead and um, crack this baby up. And I can tell the guy, so the question is how much bloat is inside this packaging? I'm a little bit fearful about whenever I unpack small jigsaw puzzle pieces, they often contain like bags. Mm, not much bloat. Got a bit of tape right over here as well too. It's a bit of a nice attribute to have, so we'll just unpack it and we'll see how it's like. I'm about to do a little jump cut. And finally, 
Amongst the tropical heat that we've got at the moment, it looks quite nice. Let me just go ahead and just move the tower fan away, eh? and we'll see what these pieces are like. I know it's blistering hot outside, but I need you guys just to see how these pieces are like. Well, the problem with these jigsaw puzzles is once again, they're not really properly cutting as with the lines already being creased. But nevertheless, maybe there's about 48, probably 49 pieces. But I might be totally wrong once again, there's another error here. You can see some of the pieces have actually got like a triangular type end. Maybe I could just remove that. Sorry about that, but hey, I, I just want the pieces to be nice and straight and with that being said we can just pretty much start building it here i think the very biggest clues will have to be these letters that just say let's monkey around i think that's how i remember um whenever i think of this jigsaw puzzle it's fairly fairly nice what we'll see how it's like once i completely finish off this amazing set and these pieces though i mean they're not properly cutting up because I think I would have used like a big scissors that would have been totally painful and totally not so accurate to do so but hey mind you at the same time um, I see how it's like in the meantime we see how it's been completely and utterly built by the time when I'm making this video as obvious as it sounds once again I need to do another jump cut because it's going to take quite a while to do so Aha! I found a little hit there, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I could definitely um, see uh, where this is coming. And um, where I think these pieces would have been coming is probably around here. I know, but it's... With that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and build this up. Luckily enough, I've just started with the top because, you know, it's probably easy seeing these letters. I think letters are very easy to, how would you say it, uh, assist you in the way you're building uh, puzzles and stuff because, you know, they've got like bubble writings and stuff, they've got like lines and whatnot, they're actually not too bad and, you know, it's pretty much the fun part of building jigsaw puzzles and it actually helps you to assist on actually finishing up the whole puzzle up as obvious as it sounds, so let me just see where I'm going to place it here, maybe there okay, and um, where does this one go to? this piece here that can go there okay, hey, I'm getting the point here now okay, and we'll just add this I don't know how many pieces there are, about 48 or 49 pieces, I might be totally wrong if I can see like extra bits of jigsaw puzzle pieces and whatnot though, hey? I'm just looking around, sc scrounging around, of course, hey? And once again, um, you can definitely feel that the pieces are a little bit much more chunkier than the 60 piece, but they're not as chunky as the 32 piece. I've actually got other jigsaw puzzles uh, which are pretty much designed so, so differently though. Uh, hopefully I've got more of them coming up, especially in this tropical heat wave that we're having at the moment which is chronically and utterly unusual. I would have ex actually expected the weather to actually cool down in September because that's what September is mainly associated with, being an autumn month, not like this. But hey, I don't care because I really enjoy it so much. That's how I really, you know, live with it. And you know, I could just take a gamble uh, when it's really hot outside and um, the problem when you head outside is that the heat in this country is nowhere near like like well, when you go back to Malaysia where it's not as equatorial it's more of a North African slash Saharan slash Mediterranean type heat which for some reason isn't that well to be honest for me it's not that obvious for you know a thing to you know just sort of mimic the Amazon rainforest or the plains of Africa you know I'm just probably thinking hey who knows you might be thinking of any other national park or wildlife area that you're trying to mimic or I'm trying to mimic somewhere very foreign when you can just spot animals around here okay this puzzle is looking like it's nearly done what's even interesting is it's actually done in like an 8x6 type um, layout, so I'm trying to contemplate around here 
and I am seeing what's up for grabs site and I can see some very visual clues and gears along the way here I'm trying to see what's what's here and what's there and you know I'm just exploring the little mistakes around in this little jigsaw puzzle it's, as I said before they're actually quite fun for the kids and despite the fact that these jigsaw puzzles are being made out of paper and are not really certainly one of the best of all of the jigsaw puzzles that I've actually have, you know, assembled you know they're not really the best but they are excellent for motor skills and whatnot. not high okay it's very excellent I mean that's a very nice thing to, to say about it but hey bring it right on and it's a very nice looking set of various pieces and whatnot. not high I mean the thing about these puzzles is that they seem to you know they have a very impressive way of enticing people and children to you know get a bit of a memory test of where things go and things do really go organized in the way things should be and you know that's the fun part with jigsaw puzzles I mean especially when they're paperfied if that's a word <laughs> but uh, I'm just finishing off this beast along the way hey? it's quite a very outstanding puzzle as obvious as this sounds and I'm just looking around as you can see I'm nearly about to finish this off it's quite a very stunning way to uh, make it the most especially in the summer heat that we're having at the moment maybe I need to you know shuffle these bits a little bit further ahead like so uh, what does this black bit go is this like a total mis mis mismatch of what I've seen before no way it's not it's looking A-OK -okay. and um, it's looking great somehow hey, let me just plonk this hey okay hey I see now we can see where these letters go to and I can see the words popping out they're giving us a very nice clue I think when you add letters as I said before they do help you to assist on building the puzzle in a very nice and easy way and we'll just add that All right, so I would hate to think you know it's going to be damn hard to think about it but you know jigsaw puzzles are like that they can very much vary in time of how much difficulty you might have to assemble these things up but I really enjoy them it's quite impressive hopefully there'll be more jigsaw puzzles like this in the future right? just to um, get children to know how to build them up it's a fantastic little little, little gimmick there we go I've right? got that there and we'll see what other bits I can finish off here hmm okay I think it goes here yep over there I think I'm nearly done with this jigsaw puzzle because you know I'm certainly concentrating on what I've done so far hey and then we've got this here and then I think by the time as I'm done with this jigsaw puzzle crikey's mate I'll be boiling hot but at the same time very proud of what I've done and I think it looks completely and utterly spiffily fantastic how cool is that that's a nice spiffo sort of puzzle here we go how cool is that eh? I don't know why I'm making words up if spiffo is a word <laughs> okay here we go there it is that looks about it that's the whole puzzle being done what do you think guys ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that's quite nice let's monkey around as you can see that's a very impressive looking set and I'll show you what it looks like. So, without in no, no particular order here, before I should probably have a very poor appraisal on that, I might as well do another jump cut. Ah, yeah. A tropical island paradise, as you can see. It's a very beautiful looking set. And here it is on this overall um, tour round of seeing what this puzzle looks like. It's an amazing little set of what I've got. And I've, so far as I've just counted, all I can just see is 48 PC pieces. I thought it was just about 49. Then he's just going to misinterpret that word again. And as you can see, I can just see the titles. Let's monkey around because I can see a couple of monkeys. The Melodia 2023 mascots. With Ollie the Oriole looking very cheeky with his very weird Botox stare and his smile. There's some of the Shamo doing his very weird derpy looking tongue. Courtney Courtney looking a little bit rather annoyed and a little bit, you know. I would just say a bit perturbed over the monkeys 
and so I'm trying to fit it around just to make it look quite accurate and some palm trees there's obviously about three of them you know it looks totally fantastic for a jigsaw puzzle like that and I mean thank goodness for that hey what an impressive looking jigsaw puzzle I have completely and utterly solved that is chronically and utterly amazing and if I look at the back of the packaging here once again the artwork on the packaging doesn't exactly look as exactly of what you might actually find. It's a very impressive looking jigsaw puzzle and thank goodness for that. That's how it's like. And mind you, I actually kind of feel very proud in the way I've built this set. And you know one thing is missing in this Malaysia 2023 jigsaw puzzle set? There's no Malaysia 2023 logo in there. How stupid of me to completely and utterly forget about it at all. But anyways, if you really enjoyed in this very hot day video, in fact, it really is a very hot day outside, so if you really enjoyed it, please give this video a like, subscribe for more for videos in the future, and as always, thanks so much for watching, and bye for now. And oh my god, there is a wasp right over at my room here. What's it doing? What is that wasp doing? I'm probably guessing it's very hungry or something. What in the hell is that wasp doing? Come on, what's going on here with a wasp? He looks quite perturbed over the cameras I'm just filming here. Get out of the way, wasp. You're not part of the deal. It's very hot outside. Maybe the nature lovers might love it. Or hate it. Uh, I can tell you the guys say it really is searing hot. It's autumn time here and the bugs are pretty much... Uh, well... How would you say it? They're pretty much being well fed. Well, they've just destroyed their nests and they're just making up the most of what they're up to. Sorry for the extra bit of this ending, but hey, maybe I should film this wasp before it dies in the blistering heat of the autumnal summer sunshine. Yep, it's a really stinging hot day outside. It really is the hottest day of the year, isn't it? You can definitely see how aggressive this bug is. I would rather refrain from this little blighter. He would probably sting your bloody skin off and there he goes. He's out and away. Goodbye, Waspy.